One of the most uh, prominent and enduring names in American architecture is Helmut Jahn, who uh, of course has a studio here in Chicago, and he's the 2012 recipient of the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, the Lynn S. Beadle Lifetime Achievement Award from the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. And you're, uh, you're having voice problems like some of the rest of us just because it's fall in Chicago and we're going to go easy on you today. Yeah, I came from Europe and I was in New York and came yesterday here and somebody I had to talk a lot had the same thing. So. Um, one of the statements that the council made um, in, in describing you and, uh, and the reasons you're getting this award is uh, you were green before green was popular and they uh, specifically cite the uh, Bonn Post Tower in Germany. Uh, is this something that you saw coming years ago? At what, when did you get the idea that green was the way to go? Well, I actually gave a lecture in uh, Sobeck's Institute in Stuttgart last Friday. And uh, which was about sustainable high rises. And I saw the subject in a wider range. And I did say that we did sustainable buildings 40 years ago when the word sustainable or green did not even exist or nobody had a commitment to this. The, the biggest decision about whether a building is sustainable or not we make when we design the building that is an efficient shape, that it's a functional plan, that's flexible, that, that it, it uh, uses daylight, natural ventilation, uh, uh, if possible, that it has a good shading system, that the building uh, kind of changes and works between the environment, which is on the outside, and the conditions we want on the inside of the building, that it works like a human organism. The structure is, for instance, one of those things. The structure on a tall building is one of its, uh, can be one of its most important sustainable feature. Because there's so much material involved, and nobody talks about it. And unfortunately, there are so many buildings built today which require a very because they have an unusual shape of, that, that that they require a lot of material to all achieve this. And so there is a, there's a lot of um, promise given and a lot of lip service given to this idea of sustainability, but there's not always the results. And the commitment, especially in America, is generally a commitment to sustainability. Green, spending something for it, is good if it helps to increase the commercial success of a building, and not because you believe in it. You know, it, 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 it we're doing a building in Washington, and I convinced the typical Washington building, eight stories, 10 stories, the, the owner to use uh, natural ventilation, exterior shades. And, and finally they had some energy consultants figure out it reduced the energy consumption by two or three percent. And they said and it takes 30 years to pay this off. And I said, but it's the right thing to do. It, you know, it, 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 it makes the building more comfortable. You got fresh air. And if you have the exterior shade, you, 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 you need to condition the building less. So a lot of the things are, are a factor that you have to decide how you want to live. You live the right way or you live the wrong way. And, and they accepted it. Uh, let's talk about one of your new projects today, 320-meter um, building in uh, in Korea, uh, the pentaminium. The, the building in Korea is is actually is structurally challenging. It's actually a double tower, 40 by 40 meters, 320 meter tall. So it's a tube. Uh, it has this very flexible plan. It it has five meter floor to floor height. Uh, 
So the height is actually something you can improve on the living conditions in a high-rise building. It has sky gardens, which are landscaped, which are actually outdoor spaces, but they're shielded from the environment. It has an interesting system, system of an inner facade, which is glass, the actual facade, an outer system of screens, which shade the building, also create a certain uh, privacy. And in between, there's ways where the building expands out with an enclosed space or with um, an open space. And that space, again, can be treated different ways, tenant choice. So for, for, for me, this pro, uh, uh, project was a chance to actually uh, 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 improve on the living conditions you can uh, create in a tall building. With these buildings now, the super tall buildings, there have been so many to go before now. A lot of architects have had a chance to make their mark on yeah. super talls, and that's where a lot of the attention is these days. And now you're finally getting to make your mark on it. How is your mark different from theirs, and what statement are you wanting to make in super talls? Uh, you, I hate to, you know, the, the, I mean, the tower in Toha is quite different from this tower in, 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 in China you know, or in Korea. I think these buildings are all very different. They conform to our philosophy of engineering, which is integrating uh, 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 um, uh, architecture and in engineering disciplines. I think they're generally simpler a lot of buildings we see. They're urbanistically, uh, wherever possible, more integrated with the city. Uh, they, they make an effort to to break down the barriers between the private and the public space. Uh, uh, they are structurally wherever necessary because of the height, uh, very much informed between their shape and their appearance. And uh, uh, the facades on those buildings continue this interest of the especially European buildings. Uh, of 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 in, involving those natural resources like you know, the sun and the light and the air to create a better uh, working or living environment. Well, thank you so much for dropping by, and congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award, Helmut Jan. Thank, thank you. you.